Level 3. The Sub Basement. Level Classification. Difficulty 3 out of 5. Flood of rooms, rock bursts, drafts of air, and heat that can boil people alive make this level difficult to traverse. Entity count 2 out of 5 has a medium entity count, though they usually avoid humans. Chaos gradient 1 out of 5. This level contains random drill shafts and floods with liquid. Bassett Fraser Index 2 out of 5. This level is anomalous, even more so than previous quantum stable levels. Description. Level 3 in an infinite subterranean complex filled with pipes and machinery. The majority of the complex is a network of service tunnels filled with pipes transporting various fluids, most commonly an anomalous coolant. The conditions of the underground match those of the Earth's crust at an approximate depth of 20 miles, 30 kilometers. The main purpose of the network of pipes is to keep the complex at habitable temperatures in the boiling underground, so touching them is not advised. The rock is under enormous pressure and it disturbed may ball violently in a wreck burst, sending red-hot fragments flying at high speed in all directions. The extreme temperature difference between the walls and cooling pipes has been known to create powerful weather patterns within the tunnels, including dust devils strong enough to throw about a person. The holes are narrow and cut directly from the rack, apparently by means of tunnel boring machines. They connect between a number of vertical drills and various processing facilities, transporting power, coolant, and occasionally molten magma. The level extends infinitely upwards but only at finite depth downwards, however. The machinery of the level seems to be continuously pouring out deeper and deeper tunnels, extending itself further into the superheated rock like an enormous von Neumann machine. If the entire level was constructed this way it has to be assumed that it has been operating for an infinite amount of time. Vacuum sealed doors are seen commonly throughout level 3. These doors are always in rows of 2. Opening 2 at the same time can cause a large draft of wind and it is highly advised not to do this. The area between two doors is typically flooded or filled with a deadly fungus. No entities have been spotted roaming the holes in level 3. One type of entity lives in the pipes, going by the name of crawlers. These pipes can be traversed but it is recommended to have a weapon and travel away from dents and noises. Do keep in mind that these pipes can fill with any liquid at any time. Level 3, being devoid of any objects, makes supplies necessary for further exploration. Communities. Due to the difficulty of this level, permanent civilizations are unfeasible and impossible to sustain for lengthy periods of time. Entrances and Exits Entrances Level 3 can be entered by going down hatches in level 2. Any of this level's sublevels are also entrances. Exits The only exits from level 3 are service doors with the drill shafts. These doors lead to level 4. Other exits include level 3 sublevels, 